everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Aralia. You have landed at Style & Lipstick. Today's video is all about a soft glam Thanksgiving look. It is a quick tutorial on this eye look. I was using my Pat McGrath Sublime palette. I love, love, love this palette because it's so beautiful and blushy and pink and so yeah it's kind of the inspiration behind this thanksgiving look also i wanted to mention that my giveaway is now closed and i do have a winner beth simmons is the winner and i have reached out to you beth so please please get back to me and let me know that you've received my email and that way we can get details and i can get you your goodies i do want to say a deep and heartfelt thank you to everyone who participated it was awesome to see so many people talking about what they're grateful for. It really, really warmed my heart to see so many people participate, to hear what it is that you're grateful for, to, to know a little bit more about you, to hear some of the things that you've overcome. It just makes me feel so, so good that you guys were able to share in all of that good, positive feeling. You know, you've got a very loving families and friends that provide you support through the good times, through the bad times. And it was just so nice to hear all of y'all talking about that. Again, thank you so much for participating. I really am super, super happy that you partook in this exercise. I hope that you guys have a really, really great Thanksgiving. If you are new to my channel and you have not subscribed, make sure you hit that red subscribe button on your way out. And also, if you are a returning viewer, I really do appreciate you taking a few minutes of your day to spend time with me and uh, watch me come up with this look for you guys. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving and uh, I guess I will see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, so I've got all my foundation, brows, all of that jazz on, and I'm setting my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the original formula. Next, I'm applying a little bit of powder so that all of the shadows that I put on top of it would blend out nicely. Then I'm taking a fluffy, sh uh, fluffy blender brush, and I am applying ColourPop's Press Shadow in Wait For It. I wanted something a little bit peachy, coral to kind of pop all of the rosy pink tones that I'm going to be placing on my eyes. And uh, since the Pat McGrath Sublime palette doesn't really have a, de a good transition color, I did have to bring one from the outside. Next, I'm going in with Rose Dusk out of the Sublime palette. And this shadow is has a little bit of shimmer, but it does not come across as being shimmery on the lid. So I am placing that in the deeper crease to kind of help bring a little bit of depth and that's where I start introducing those beautiful rosy blushy pink shades and I'm using a dome shaped crease brush I wanted something that had a little bit of stiffness to apply that crease shadow and I'm slowly building it up just uh, to get the primary colors down next I'm going in with dark which is this really really pretty kind of like I don't know, it's a kind of a neutral brown, I think. And I'm placing that just in the outer corner of my eye to give a little bit of dimension to the look. Um, I'm not pulling it in, I'm just dropping it right into that little spot right there. I just wanted a little bit of, you know, shadow in that spot. Um, I am gonna leave the color alone. I'm not gonna cover it with anything, but I, I thought that I would put that down and I didn't really want to bring that darkness across the crease, which is why I've kind of just pinpointed it in that one little spot. Next, I'm going in with one of my favorite shadows in the, in the Sublime palette and that is VR Nectar. And it is a beautiful, beautiful, glimmery, shimmery, pink type shadow. It is very glittery, but with the Pat McGrath Mothership palettes, the glitters are so, so finely milled, and this shadow is beautiful. Now, if you don't have the Sublime palette, you can use any kind of pressed glitter or pressed pigment that you have that's in a rosy pink color. The ones that come to mind are those in the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. And I am using my fingers to apply because I feel that that is what brings out the most shimmer in these shadows. So um, I'm starting out putting them on with my finger and then in a moment you'll see me applying them with a flat shader brush just so that I could get into the corners. But right now what I'm doing is I'm laying down the first coat of glitter. I don't put down a lot. I want this to be a soft glam look. I don't want it to be super, super glittery, but these shadows just they're gorgeous now as mentioned they're finely finely milled but they do have a little bit of fallout but i have found that with a fluffy brush they come off very very easily 
and there you see me applying it with a soft with the uh, small shader brush and that's just so that I can get into the corners and make sure that I can get the um, precision that I'm looking for then I go back in with rose dusk and just above where I have placed the dark and the VR nectar I am applying the rose dusk to bring a little bit of that rosiness further up onto the lid and kind of build up that color next I'm going in with the another color pop press shadow in say I do and it is a really really pretty pale pink shade and I'm kind of using this as a blender shade I don't expect it to show up I'm just trying to get things to blend together then I'm going back in with wait for it to kind of um, bring that uh, peachy transition color back because I've lost it in some of the blending and uh, with that same fluffy blending brush I don't put anything on my um, under my eyebrow you know on my brow bone uh, I just I don't know I just don't with the Pat McGrath palettes and then um, just darkening up the dark brown color and then again applying a little bit more rose dusk and just kind of going back and forth and back and forth building those two up next I'm going into my lower lash line with rose dusk and I'm using just a kind of like a shading brush and applying that first then with a very small detail brush I'm going in with dark right along the lash line and I'm bringing these colors in only two-thirds of the way in because I will be applying a um, the VR nectar to the inner corner. So just buffing those out and blending them together. And then again, here you are with a stiff pencil brush. I'm going in with VR nectar and adding that to the inner corner, pulling it to that blank spot that I have on my lower lid to meet with the rose uh, dusk and dark colors. these color these uh, VR nectar is <clears throat> such a beautiful 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 peachy glitter pink peachy glitter then I'm going in and adding some black eyeliner along my lash line because I am going to be wearing falsies I've added some mascara this is the L'Oreal um, Lash Paradise voluminous lash paradise mascara and the liner that I was using with the Kat Von D tattoo liner uh, in Trooper. Next I'm going in with my Ardell Wispies and um, I decided to go with the Wispies because I wanted you know to have a little bit of lash but I didn't want the lashes to completely cover the look I think because this is such a really pretty delicate blush pink kind of look I didn't want the, the super, super dark lashes to kind of overwhelm the look. I, I did want the eyeshadows to peek out from where from behind the lashes. And the Wispies are my go-to. They're long enough and, and fluffy enough that they provide really pretty lashes, um, but don't fully cover up the look. Next, I'm covering up the lash line because I did use the Huda Beauty Lash Glue, which is in dark. and. Uh, I it does show up some so I do feel the need to cover up and go through with a liner and here I'm I'm pulling my lashes down a little bit because I can't see around them and just applying some of the uh, tattoo liner and trooper just to cover up that lash line next I'm going in with the Rimmel um, nude liner and I can't remember what it's called I can never remember what it's called I think it's the exaggerate something like that then I'm going in with the wet n wild mega glow contour highlight palette and just using the contour shade this is in dulce de leche this is one of my go-to contour um, shades that I love using contour powders that I enjoy using and the brush that I'm using with it is the VIB Rouge face buffer brush or something like that then I'm going in with my oval 3 my Artiz oval 3 brush and contouring my nose using the same contour powder from the wet n wild palette Again, one of my most favorite, favorite contour powders. I love this little guy and it is so inexpensive. And I'm not an expert in contouring my nose, <laughs> as you can see. Next, I'm going in with Clinique's Peach Pop and just kind of keeping to that peachy pink 
theme or tone. I'm keeping things a little bit monochromatic here. Um, I love, love, love this blush because it provides a really pretty kind of glow from within color. And then I'm going in with the Vintage Highlighting Duo and I'm using the pink shade in that palette. And you see my eyes got big because this palette, you know, these, this, these highlighters pack a lot of punch. I forget about them, but man, they are some of the prettiest, brightest highlighters that I own, and they look really, really nice. Then I'm applying the same pink highlight to my nose. As you can tell, it doesn't come across pink. It's, it's just a little bit pale. It's not as gold as I normally wear, but I really wanted to keep, you know, kind of within the pink family with this look. Next, I'm going in with the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner. It's the retractable one, and this one is an Addiction, I think is the name of the color. I will have all of the products that I used listed down below, by the way. And I am lining my lips with this, and then I'm going to fill my lips in with the color as well. And I apologize if you can hear any outside noise. I've got people working on my gutters right now. <laughs> All right, then I am going in with Charlotte Tilbury's Very Victoria Lipstick. It is a matte lipstick, and I really, really like it because it's like my lips but better kind of color, uh, and I'm applying that. Then I'm going in with a little bit of Buxom's White Russian on my fingertip and just adding that to the center of the lip because I wanted to bring some gloss into the, into the look. All right, so there we have the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. Again, thank you for watching, and uh, I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.